This video is brought to you by VPN. VPN protects everything you do online and has the best military-grade encryption to ensure that all your valuable data is secure and not susceptible to peering third-party eyes. One of my friends actually had his data compromised and this would have been avoided with VPN. It works with every internet device you have has incredible fast speeds, doesn't log any of your info at all, and the app actually finds the best encryption and fast protocols on your specific device that you are using. Guys, click on the link down below in the description. There is an exclusive discount code down there as well. It's a great offer for an incredible VPN. Check it out. What's up guys, the Axe Bot here. City. Okay, the hack spot, not X. But today is a very exciting day because Apple did release iOS 13 Beta 2. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys all the new features in iOS 13 Beta 2, as along with how to install it without a computer. You can now do that. You don't need a computer anymore to install iOS 13 on your device. So super exciting stuff. Let's not waste any time and jump right in. And all right, guys. So before I jump right into installing iOS 13 Beta 2, I want to talk about some bugs. I've been having iOS 13 beta 1. So first of all, every time I go to set a wallpaper, so let's go do this one. When I hit set and set as my wallpaper, in order to actually have it as my wallpaper, my phone has to respring. So I gotta see it froze. Whoa, okay, this time it's, it just froze. Usually it comes up with like a black screen, a little loading icon, and the respring. So I guess that sometimes happens. Let's go back to this one and let's see. All right. So yeah, it just froze again. Huh, weird. Okay, so it doesn't have to respring anymore. That's cool. All right, and also on Snapchat or other apps too, when I tried to use emojis, yeah, I could see that it's hard to scroll through them every time. Whoa. Okay, see, there it is. All right, see, sometimes when you click on one, then it's sometimes hard to swipe. I have to be like really gentle with it. And yeah, so stuff does work better when I'm on camera. These bugs I'm talking about are a lot more prominent when I'm actually using my phone. But anyways, to install iOS 13 beta 2, I'm gonna make it super easy for you guys to follow. So what you wanna do is open up Safari, click on the link that'll be down below the description. Make sure that it does open up inside the Safari app, not YouTube. So if it does open up inside YouTube, tap on the Safari icon wherever it is. And once open in Safari, you guys can see beta store. So go ahead and tap on that. It'll bring it right here, tap on allow and hit close. Now X out of here and you wanna open up the settings application. And and in settings, you want to head over to general, then scroll down until you find profiles and device management. Once there, you want to go and tap on the beta store backup, go ahead and tap on install in the top right, enter a passcode, and once that is done, there it is. Let's go and hit next, install, and don't worry, this is perfectly safe, and we're just going to be installing iOS 13 beta 2, so there it is. Now to also remove this app, what you want to do is go back over here, and you can just go and tap on the same thing and hit remove profile, and it will remove this app that we just installed. So it should be somewhere on your home screen, and there it is. Let's go and tap on it. Let's go to the downloads over here, and now simply go to downloads over there. Once over here, you guys can see iOS 13 beta beta. Now it's also available for the iPad OS iOS 13 beta. So for an iPad, that's the one to use. All right. So let's go to tap on this one since we are on an iPhone and let's go tap on allow and again, hit close X out of here and open up the settings application once again. Now, again, you want to go to settings, general profiles and device management. And here you'll find iOS 13 and iPad OS beta software. So we're going to tap on this. It's by Apple and it's verified. Let's go to install it. And just like this, we are going to be installing iOS 13 beta. Oh God, so you guys could read through this if you want to. I don't know if you want to, but let's put that anyways. Let's go and tap on install, install right there. And let's go ahead and hit restart. So it's going to install iOS 13 beta 2, just like that without a computer. The easiest method guys. And oh boy, am I excited for some of these bugs to be fixed and the new features. So I'll be back in a jiffy. <laughs> All right, and here we are back on our lock screen and I did get an alert saying that there's a flash flood warning in my area, so pray for me. <laughs> All right, so here we are. I'm gonna go and unlock my device. So now what we wanna do is head over to settings and then head over to general. And now we're gonna head over to software update. Now, once your phone restarts, you guys will see this right over here. All you gotta do is hit download and install. Go and type in your passcode and just like that update requested and now all we got to do is wait. This is by far the hardest part but actually it only says three minutes remaining. 
So let's be a little bit patient. All right, so you should get a pop-up saying install now and it has a countdown too. So if we don't tap on install now, it'll automatically start installing. As I see it's verifying the update right now and now it's gonna restart and we just gotta wait a little bit more. And all right, so my device just booted back up and now we are on iOS 13 beta 2, the latest version. So that's super cool. Now let's go ahead and talk about some of the main key new features that you guys wanna hear about. Of course, there's small changes here and there, but I wanna be talking about the big points and oh boy, it's exciting. So one of the main ones that you guys probably already heard about is if you open up the photos app, you go to do portrait over here and scroll all the way to the right. And now we have stage light mono. Now I'm gonna go and use my little action figure right here, this little skull guy. And I'm gonna go and take a picture. So it says move farther away. And we gotta go farther, a little bit farther. Okay, it's kind of hard to do this on camera. But there we go. I'm gonna go and take the picture. All right, but I took the picture and take a look at that. It's just so awesome. We could change certain details. We can make the background white and stuff like that. And I just like this feature a lot. It looks so cool, like professional images. And it's just a really cool effect. Now, another big feature is that if you have AirPods and your friend has AirPods, you can now share your music from one device and play it on two AirPods from one device. So you can just both be listening to the same music from one device. So it's really cool. I don't have two AirPods to show you guys, but basically how this works is you open up the music app and you go and tap on this button at the bottom right there. And over here, now you can see there's a circle right there. So if another AirPod shows up, you can go and check both of them and they will stream the music to both of those airpods now the other way to do this is go over here to control center tap and hold or 3d touch and this will come up and again tap on the airplay icon your airpods should show up over here mine are closed let's go ahead and open it up and again you guys will see this right here you're just going to check both airpods and it will play on both those airpods at the same time from one device really cool feature pretty exciting one now in these screen time settings if you go to downtime over here and enable it it also syncs with your apple watch so whatever you set on your iphone for downtime it will sync with your apple watch and if you don't know what downtime is it's such a schedule for time away from the screen during downtime only apps that you choose to allow and phone calls will be available so that's featured right there too if you guys want to use it and it now syncs with your Apple Watch. Now this is pretty cool. If you have Apple TV, you can now get picture and picture. So this is on Apple TV. I can see the video is playing on the side and you can just multitask and do other things while the video is still there. It's only with the TV app. I'm not sure if it also works on the iPhone. I don't have any movies that I bot but if it does and you can do picture in picture like that with the tv app on the iphone 2 that would be pretty dope if you guys do try this let me know down in the comments if it also gets picture in picture on the iphone now there are new memojis and this picture is courtesy of 9 to 5 mac but you can see we got some brand new emojis we got the peace we got the cross we got the shush and we got the thumbs up. Now, if you haven't watched my last video on voice control, then I'll link that video in the description. It's pretty interesting stuff and it's a really cool feature on iOS 13. Anyways, on beta 2, if we head back over there and enable it, you guys can see now we do get an icon on the top left over there. So usually it's faded when you're not talking, but when it hears you talking, it lights up blue like this. So you can see that voice control is enabled. So again, open camera. Boom. So yeah, it just lets so you know that's enabled with that icon over there now in iOS 13 beta 2. All right. Now for me, this option would not appear. I think I need second generation AirPods, but over here, you guys can see you can announce messages with Siri, but now on beta 2, you can send the replies without confirmation. So you know, when you use Siri to send a message, it asks you, do you want to send this message? You can get rid of that confirmation and just have it send the message automatically once you are done right away. Now the option would be over here in settings and then go to notifications and it would would be over here and announce messages for Siri, but I don't have that option for some reason. I think I need AirPods too and connect them. But yeah, now this last one I want to share with you guys is pretty subtle, but it's just very satisfying. So every time you tap to touch or 3D touch, it makes a cool sound. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it, but it's really cool. Don't know if you guys can hear it, but that's what it sounds like. I put my phone right up to the microphone, but it's like a very subtle sound, but super satisfying. All right, guys. So that is iOS 13 beta 2 and how to install it. Some new features and it's a great new update. I already noticed my device feeling more fluid and smooth. Let me go and see if that bug's gone real quick. Picture and oh, okay. Hold on. Oh, yes, they fixed it. Thank God. Okay, cool. Now, I know some people are going to ask what about the wallpapers one. So set both and let's see. 
If it freezes, okay, it still freezes a little bit. Okay, that bug is still there. You guys can see, this is what I meant before. Now it's doing it again. And we're back. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. This is this is why I don't like Face ID. I like Touch ID. I don't look at my phone. Thank you guys for watching. As always, this is the Hack Spot. Stay tuned for many videos. Get subscribed if you haven't already. And peace out.